the idea behind this, these videos is going to be to give you a, a weekly plan on how to become uh, or how to get your athletes to become a little bit more proficient at a certain technique. All right, so uh, I'll break it up into weeks and understand that uh, we're, you know, we're working under the assumption that you guys are going to be practicing six times a week. All right, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is a slide by, okay, and uh, you know, call it a shrug, slide by. It's a real good technique, especially for guys who are just learning the sport. Um, because you don't put yourself in any danger, all right? Um, one of the best and most effective ways that we found to learn this is to find a piece of mat tape or a crease in the mat and practice uh, a 180 degree pivot, all right? This is uh, Matt Siampa from Eclipse uh, Wrestling Club up North Jersey uh, showed me this uh, and I've been kind of implementing it into different, uh, different techniques and it really fits well with this slide by one. So again, what we're gonna do is find Technique, or I'm sorry, a little bit of mat tape or creasing the mat. Okay, both of our feet start on that crease facing in the same direction. Okay, and the, all we're doing is getting a full 180 degree pivot. Okay, shift the weight to your toes, and then you're going at least 180 degrees. The reason I say at least 180 degrees, that's where it starts. If you start doing this and it's 90 degrees, and you're actually using um, this technique and trying to score on somebody, a lot of times you only go 90 degrees, it doesn't work out. So the technique starts at 180 degrees. So I'm gonna start here, right? If you start getting good at it, you can get over rotate and get your whole ankle to the mat. You should be doing at least 100 reps of this a day. Now, when I say that, you're probably not going to spend 20 minutes of your practice doing pivot steps, but if you have a group of three and you're wrestling live, the guy that's out can be doing pivot steps while he's waiting. Um, if you're running sprints and guys, you know, group on, group off, guys that are off are doing pivot steps. So this is something that you can kind of leave your kids alone with and they can get proficient at, okay?